the slow one, no I don't take shit, I got no love, and the fakeness, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. I don't have the slow one, no I don't take shit, I got no love, for the fakeness, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll always show up, and make a statement, I don't have the slow one. Oh, what's up guys, Master Styles here, back with another Eternal Evolution video. And today we're going to be covering the upcoming Easter event. We'll also talk about Jax. Yes, that's what I'm going to be calling him going forward. His skills. And I know I say I don't cover patch notes videos, but whenever it comes to these big events, I tend to go over the patch notes. When it comes to these kind of videos, I try to make it as interesting as possible. So first up, we have this Easter go, go. Oh, I think I said it three times. So Easter go three times will get you some red runes and uh, stamina for Crimson Abyss. So nothing crazy there. Hopefully you have some better gift codes in the future. But this is mainly about the Easter event coming up. If you were around for the last year's Easter event, I was looking at it and it's pretty much the same looking thing. So basically they have spring romance, Easter egg paint, and the rabbit shop. We'll go more over that as we go along. So let's go up to the patch notes here and see what they got. So I'm not even going to read that top part. I already said my two cents about that. Start this update an hour before. So that way when, the, when you come in, the game resets then you still have that 30 minutes because the update is 30 minutes. And if anything goes wrong, you can take that additional 30 minutes to fix whatever's going wrong versus starting the update 30 minutes before. And then when the game resets, you still have to wait. Just saying. So let's move down here. Let's see what we got. New hero and hero optimization. New hero Jax. He is an triple s level atlas summon hero drag summons a whirlpool at the selected target dealing damage to all targets in the area and throw targets into the center of the whirlpool next drag summons abyssal swarms inheriting jacks attack defense and hp with this guy Seems like you want to focus a lot on HP because I was reading his skills. A lot of his skills require HP. Drax and Abyssal Swarm simultaneously gain a water shield equal to a percent of their max HP. The, the water shield is a key. Water shield stops nearby enemies charges. Hmm. I wonder how big that water shield is going to be. And how easy it is it for it to pop? I feel like the pop, when you pop the sh that shield, it should do a knockback. But that's just me personally. At the beginning of the battle, or for activating the ultimate skill, Drax gains a Thunder Shield. Thunder Shield again, reducing all damage taken. If all heroes deployed are Atlas at the same time, a Thunder Shield will be also given to all allied summoner heroes. As always, a new limited recruitment, which has Drax, Senway, and Old John at higher rates. It's a 14 day duration. Nothing new there. Same thing. The off banner is Dominic. Don't really care about those elites. I'm not going to waste my time reading about those. Mirror of Reformation is back where you can get copy of Drax 300 pulls. The Chaos Soul Crystal 180 pulls. The soul crystal for Ampu. You do 80 pulls, you get one of those. And of course, you get some dust astral tickets. So if you've been saving your tickets, now's the time to pull. They have the Muzo's Bell. Well, they'll have a copy of Drax. They'll also have a copy of I have Annihilation. Mm, don't really need that. I already have that maxed out. They also have, of course, the soul crystal for. Ampu, details gathering, nothing new there. Also premium development. And of course, Twilight Lands is back. 
So that's good to see there. I love to see that. And that'll be going on 14 days as always. See, a new season of Easter event will be open on all servers. Easter egg painter during the event. You can collect pigments of various colors to draw the Easter eggs for more rewards. There's also spring romance, just kind of like mysterious event in a sense. So, you know, at the Valentine's Day, they had their own version of this where you go through your pick. And once you get the rewards that you selected, you can move on. They also added new story. <laughs> if you look at my account, I'm nowhere near those numbers. Those are well, that, that's whale territory there. You got to be a whale up there to do that stuff. I don't need, I literally don't see the point of even continuing the story. Like what's the point? The, the rewards are trash. Let's, let's talk about that. The rewards for these stories are trash. At least give me 10 limited tickets for clearing this stuff, right? One limited ticket. What am I going to do with that? Right? What am I going to do with that? Added Easter rewards, add new Easter trophies, holy egg, all heroes gain attack and double loot in endless battle. What's loot? What does that mean? What do you mean double loot? How to obtain participate in Easter party. Add new Easter avatar frame. Honor egg. How to obtain participate in the Easter party. What is the Easter party? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Nothing down there in bugs and fixes. Apparently, they're saying that charge was never working effectively. Wow. Here, this is where you pretty much get all the goodies and this one looked just like valentine's day one where you go through and you pick obviously these are not these are just random pictures they could at least show you what the rewards are but again tomorrow all of the stuff will be live we'll make a video covering all of this that is that for the easter event a new hero Jax, right let's see what he got let's see what his skills are looking like we already talked a lot about his ultimate it's the same I don't think there is anything different here other than the talent talent effect at the start of battle. If there are Atlas heroes in the squad, then summons extra abyssal swarms. Interesting. Is it the dragon or the fish on the back? Interesting. The common skill tide barrier. Drax and abyssal swarm simultaneously gain a water shield equal to a percent of their max HP. The water shield stops nearby enemies charges. That's the one thing that I'm very interested to see. Talent effect. When creating a water shield, there is a chance to bind targets in range. Mm, so you can trap them and also interrupt their charge. Very interesting. That would stop Leo in his tracks because if Leo can't move, he can't do too much, right? Common skill, Raging Turret. Drax and all Abyssal Swarms simultaneously releases a powerful turret, dealing damage to all enemies in the area equal to a percent of max HP. Max HP is very key with this guy. Talent effect, turret has a chance to stun targets. Wanna see that, that sounds interesting. Passive Thunder Blessing. At the beginning of battle, or before activating a skill, Drax gain a thunder shield, reducing all damage taken. If all heroes deployed are Atlas, then at the same time, a thunder shield will be also given to all allied summoner heroes. Really? Before activating the basic skill, Drax has a probability to summon an additional abyssal swarm. Okay, so it seems like with this guy, He's not even going to replace. I was originally saying he was going to replace Sif, but he's going to replace Dorelli. So I was completely wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. Based off of what I'm seeing. But that could be different in PvP. So we'll have to do some testing there to figure out which one works better. Because I feel like having this guy in Dorelli will increase your damage. Because 
Torelli also give you that. So very interested to see how that goes. At the start of battle, Drax gains energy. So let's look at the exclusive effects. Abyssal Whirlpool Enhance. After activating the skill, if Drax's HP is above 50%, the cooldown of Raging Current will be reset. Otherwise, the cooldown of Tide Barrier will be reset. Tide Barrier Enhancement. Gain an additional shield when Drax's HP are low. Raging Turret Enhancement. Targets hit by current have their damage increase and critical damage reduce. Thunder Blessing Enhancement. When Drax is present on the battlefield, the damage of all summoner heroes is increased. Didn't say summons, but summoner heroes. So Anpu does damage based off of self, and so does Amat. Daniel does damage based off of his bear, and so does Sif. Hmm, interesting there. So these are the skills. So as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And for those that are rocking with me, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Till the next video, peace.